A um, public hearing for Hanover Township's annexation agreement. Um, I call the public hearing to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. Trustee Daney? Here. Gansey? Here. Gunstein? Here. Hopkins? Here. Rinky? Present. Sawanski? Here. President Wallace? Here. I believe um, Roberta will be giving us an update on what's going on there. Yes. Uh, this is the public hearing for the annexation and development agreement for the proposed 17-acre Hanover Township campus expansion. Uh, notice was published in the Daily Herald, and I have proof of publication. It was also mailed to the required taxing districts on April 4th, 2022. And this agreement has also been available for public viewing in the Planning and Development Services Department as required. Thank you. Anyone in, uh, on the board like to make comments or questions about the public hearing? Any concerns in the audience? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn the public hearing. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Daney? Yes. Danzi? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes. Sawanski? Yes. We are adjourned. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Village of Bartlett for the board meeting for April 19, 2022. I call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to again please call the roll. Trustee Daney? Here. Gansey? Here. Gunstein? Here. Hopkins? Here. Rinky? Present. Sawanski? Here. President Wallace? Here. We have requested that uh, Reverend Susan Tyrell of uh, Emmanuel United Church of Christ do our invocation. Reverend, thank you for being here. Let us pray. Eternal One, you see your world from a perspective that we will never know. Help us to be aware. We pray for the kind of peace only you can give, that you guide, healing the ways of suffering and loss and division. And even in the midst of the global arena, you call those here to listen and manage the village of Bartlett. Be with each one, their discernment and decision making, and give blessing to us all. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Brings us to our consent agenda this evening. All items listed with an asterisk will be enacted in one motion. There'll be no separate discussion on items on the consent agenda. That being said, is there anything, anything a board member would like to add or, add or remove from the consent? I would like to add items A1, A2, and 3. Mr. President, I'd like to add item F1. Any discussion around those items? Being said, I'll entertain a motion to amend the consent agenda to include the following. The public hearing board and committee minutes from April 5, 2022. The consent this evening will also include the April 19, 2022 bills list. The consent this evening will also be adding items A1, A2, and A3, and also includes item A5. The consent this evening will also include item C1. The consent this evening will be adding item F1 and also includes item F2. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Gunstein. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Gansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Ranky? Yes. Sawanski? Yes. Daney? Yes. That motion carries. Now I'll entertain a motion to approve the amended consent agenda. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Gunstein. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Ranky? Yes. Sawanski? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gansey. Yes. That motion carries. Next on our agenda this evening, <coughs> Treasurer's Report, Mr. Treasurer. Thank you. Uh, included in your packets is the Treasurer's Report for the month of February. Also included is a sales tax report. We did receive $312,927. Uh, that reflected November's activity. That was up 113000 from the prior year, which still wasn't uh, collecting online sales tax in, the, in this, in this uh, category. Also included is the motor fuel tax. Uh, we received $96,768. That was down 15,000 the prior year. Uh, I'm not sure why it took a big dip. 
uh, in February, but it was uh, looks like it's coming back up for the next month. Uh, that's it for the uh, Treasurer's report, unless there's any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Treasurer. Next item we have on our agenda this evening is the President's report. I am going to flip around the Arts in Bartlett um, anniversary proclamation first, and then we'll do the Commissioner recognitions. So, over here. Arts and Bartlett would like to take. Read it. Uh, proclamation celebrating the 20th anniversary of Arts and Bartlett. Whereas on Monday, April 29, 2002, about 60 people gathered at Bartlett Public Library to explore the possibility of a local arts council that would encourage education, participation, and appreciation of the cultural arts in the village of Bartlett. <clears throat> And whereas, after just two public meetings, engaged the community support for such a group, Arts and Bartlett was born and quickly recruited a board of directors, secured $2,000 in seed money from a philanthropic donor, and began working to attain nonprofit status and gain widespread exposure in the village. And whereas, since its start, <clears throat> Arts and Bartlett has been the cultural arts anchor in the community, bringing us monthly exhibits in the art gallery at, D at Bartlett Village Hall, partnering with the village to help establish Miaoi City as our sister city in Taiwan, supplementing art education in Bartlett Elementary Schools, and helping to bring public art to the downtown. And whereas the all-volunteer organization has grown and changed during its 20-year history, moving four times until 2014, it opened in the Bartlett uh, Center, in the Bartlett Center for the Arts in our downtown area, which allows for expanded services to the community in the form of larger gallery space, children's art teachers, music studios offering piano, voice, and cello lessons, a fashion design stylist, and a community room for networking events and performances. And whereas, Arts in Bartlett mounted the village's first ever juried art fair in August of 2003. That by 2017 had evolved into the Global Arts Festival, a colorful, exciting, inclusive weekend of multicultural music, art, crafts, dance, and food, celebrating the diversity and the many nationalities within our community. And this summer planned for June 11th and 12th at the Bartlett Park District's Jim Jensen Pavilion. And whereas the village of Bartlett has a proud record of supporting and promoting arts in Bartlett, recognizing the vital role it plays in our civic and economic well-being. Now, therefore, I, Kevin Wallace, president of the village of Bartlett, Cook, DuPage, and Kane counties, do hereby wish arts in Bartlett and all of its members and friends a very happy 20th anniversary. And furthermore, we thank this outstanding group for everything it does to fulfill its mission, to celebrate the arts and personal creativity so that the community and each individual is enriched. Dated this 19th day of April, 2022. Thank you. Next item on our president's report, we'll do the uh, commissioner um, recognitions. Uh, let's see my list here. Tonight we'll be recognizing several residents of Bartlett for their service to, uh, to, for the service to our great village. These folks have um, dedicated countless hours of their time to keep our village on track. Um, many of you know with the combining of the plan commission and zoning board of appeals, um, we just want to thank these committee people for, for their dedication to the village of Bartlett. And doing so, we're going to provide a plaque. And as soon as we're done with the plaques, we are going to have um, some treats in the other room. So I'll call these folks up. And
Great job, Mark. Second. 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 Here. Second. Here. Second. Here. Here. Second. Here. Second. Here. Second. Here. Second. Here. Second. Here. Second. Here. Here. Um, one more item on the President's report after our sugar buzz is Arbor Day Proclamation. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Art Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. And whereas this holiday, called Arbor Day, was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska. And whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world, and whereas trees can be a solution to combating climate change by reducing the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cutting heating and cooling costs, moderating the temperature, cleaning the air, producing life-giving oxygen, and providing habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees are a renewable source resource giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products, and whereas trees in our village increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community, and whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. Now, therefore, I, Kevin Wallace, president of the village of Bartlett, Cook, DuPage, and King County, Illinois, do hereby proclaim April 29, 2022, as Arbor Day in the village of Bartlett, and urge all citizens to celebrate Arbor Day and support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands. And further, I urge all citizens to plant trees to gladden the heart and promote the well-being of this and future generations. Dated this 19th day of 
April 2022. <clears throat> Plant trees. <clears throat> Anybody have questions for staff? Uh, I have a comment, though. I would, uh, I wish, uh, well, I just want to thank Paul and his staff at Bartlett Hills for the uh, excellent uh, Easter Sunday brunch that we had. I understand that we had close to 300 people. It was almost a sellout. And all of the feedback that I got was all positive. So I know Matt's here, so if you could comment that and, and uh, uh, you know, the staff over there and let Paul know that we did, an, you guys did, an, you did a remarkable job. It was really, it was fantastic. So thanks again. I mean, I didn't have to cook. I could have went over there. Sure could have. You had leftovers from the breakfast, which I never got. <laughs> All right, any other questions? Hearing, uh, hearing none, this is the town hall portion of the meeting. If anyone would like to address the board, um, kindly step up to the podium and state your name and address for the record, and then try to keep your comments to three minutes. Hello, my name is Austin Hopkins, 976 South Chippendale, Bartlett, Illinois. Um, I am speaking on what will be on the Committee of the Whole agenda tonight, and that's regarding the uh, text amendment for the massage ordinance, or for massage establishment license. I'm glad that staff has come to the consensus that it is not the right time to make this change. But this was something that if I did not step up, this would have been pushed through. And a lot of legal litigation would have been put on this board in this village. What I found after I FOIA'd a lot of stuff is very concerning to me and should be concern concerning to the board as well. I'm not going to go into the details right now, but Basically, I, can, I basically did an audit of everything that has to do with massage stuff, with the applications and everything like that. And there's a lot of inconsistencies and unconscious bias. So when this comes back before the board, a third party needs to be part of it, needs to be making the decisions upon it. It cannot be left to staff. There's too much legal litigation that could come of that. As you guys receive letters from, uh, from prof our massage professional organizations, there are people that are willing to step up and help for free. Even the ECC, uh, Elgin Community College Massage Therapy Director, also offered her free consulting help on this as well. So why I'm glad it's being put on hold, or hopefully will be put on hold if you guys uh, choose that, um, just know that there are still issues that need to be done, and there's enforcement that needs to be done Staff will not do that enforcement unless if the village board directs staff to do that. And basically, I sat with them, and that was what I was told, that they can't do it. So it has to be on you guys to be like, listen, it's time to do this. I've laid out some real simple things that is fair across all massage establishments, not just some of the massage establishments, which has been, that's what's been happening. So. I will be here for the Committee of the Whole, and if you have further questions, I would love to answer them for you. And again, any of the trustees are more than welcome to ask me any question during the Committee of the Whole is perfectly legal and allowed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hopkins. Anybody else like to address the board at this time? Who do we have online there? I can't uh, tell. No one tonight there. Is it Chris? No one's online that yeah, would sure. like to speak. All right, thank you. Oh. Good evening. My name's Teresa Materna. I'm 329 West North Avenue. I've been here um, multiple times over several years regarding the traffic on North Avenue and Western. I haven't been here in a while. The main reason has been that I was told last winter or fall that there would be something done this spring regarding the traffic on the corner there. Um, it's springtime. I know it's early springtime, maybe even still wintertime, um, but nothing's been done. And my dog was almost hit this morning as I was walking my dog crossing the street. I was stopped with my dog in a sit position. A car was there, stopped. I proceeded into the intersection and the car continued to proceed. Had I not pulled my dog back, my dog would have been hit. 
Um, this has got to stop. There's, that was one thing. Um, a neighbor has a video of a semi going by at one o'clock in the morning. The other night, walking the dogs at 11 o'clock at night, another large truck slash semi was going by. So really not a whole lot has, has happened to change there. Um, there are, is one particular car in particular that doesn't even stop at the stop signs. Usually comes from going south on Western Avenue and just speeds up right through the intersection. <coughs> goes around the block, keeps going. Um, and today was just the ringer for me. I love my dog, we don't wanna get emotional, but something's gonna to happen to someone at some point if something's not done. I know there's been the intersections taken care of at Struckman with the, with the bump outs, and I was told that that's something that would be done at this corner in the spring, and I'm just wondering when and if that's gonna happen before someone gets hurt. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Does anyone else like to address the board at this time? I'm sure that Dan or someone will follow up with Teresa and let her know what's going to be happening. <coughs> All right, moving on to uh, standing committee reports this evening. First standing committee report is building and zoning. Chairman Hopkins. Thank you, President Wallace. Items A1, 2, 3, and 5 were covered under the consent agenda. And item 3, the grasslands final subdivision in PUD 4. Item four um, will be postponed. They don't have all the information ready yet. Yeah. So it should be a motion. Yeah, I'll, I'll entertain a motion to um, extend that um, vote to the next meeting. I'll okay. second that. Okay. Who's first? I'll entertain a motion. No. Oh, I didn't Ready hear you. To postpone. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Moved by Trustee Danny, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes. Sawanski? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. That motion carries. That's all we have under building and zoning. <clears throat> Thank you, Chairman Hopkins. Uh, community, community and Economic Development uh, Committee, uh, Chairman Gansey. Thank you, Mr. President. There is nothing to report tonight. Thank you, Chairman Gansey. Uh, Finance and Golf Committee, Chairman Daney. Thank you, Mr. President. The only item we had was co covered under consent. We have nothing else to offer this evening. Thank you, Chairman Daney. Uh, license and ordinance, Chairman Gunstein. Thank you, Mr. President. I have none, nothing to report tonight. Thank you, Chairman Gunstein. Uh, Police and Health Committee, Chairman Swanski. Thank you, Mr. President. Item E1 is a resolution approving the general release and settlement agreement between the Village of Bartlett and former officer Selmani. The Village Board had authorized a settlement amount of up to 250000 with the Village responsible for up to eighty one to settle the PETA claim not covered by IRMA. In December, we attended a settlement conference for the federal lawsuit filed by former officer Salmani. We reached a settlement agreement in the amount of 200,000. The general release and agreement are before the board for approval. Therefore, I move to approve resolution 2022-26R, a resolution approving the general release and settlement agreement between the village of Bartlett and former officer Salmani. Second by Trustee Swanski, seconded by Trustee Ranke. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Ranke? Yes. Swanski? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? That motion carries. Thank you, Chairman Swanski. Um, next item is Public Works Committee. Chairman Ranke? Thank you, Mr. President. Everything on Public Works was addressed on the uh, uh, consent agenda. Thank you, Chairman Ranke. Any new business anyone would like to discuss? Is there any kind of update on how the traffic calming has worked in other areas? Um, the only one we've done right now is on uh, Struckman. Okay. We did that bump out uh, that Teresa was talking about. We did a study, the police department did a speed study before and after. Um, we haven't seen a huge decrease in speed. I think it was about a one mile per hour decrease. Um, but I would say it made, you know, we shortened the distance for pedestrians crossing the road because you had the bump out. 
Um, so I believe it's safer for pedestrians to be able to do it. Um, but as far as the traffic, you know, slowing the traffic down, it hasn't accomplished that just yet, but um, we're looking at doing some other striping along the whole stretch of Struckman, where kind of like we did on Mayflower, where we do the uh, lane markers, uh, delineating the parking versus the, uh, to see if that would help as well. Um, so we're looking at other ideas to try to help with that as well. How about the one on Prospect? I think we talked about some kind of like median. Yes, that one, the one I'm waiting on that one. Um, if we proceed with the Devon lift station and force main, it's gonna run down Prospect. So the thought was to do it at that time. If we end up changing and not building it, then we would look at building that uh, at another time. <clears throat> Any other new business anyone would like to discuss? Any other questions for staff? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. <clears throat> moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Sawanski? Yes. Daney? Yes. Hansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes. We are adjourned.